Good morning, guys. Hope you're all having an awesome day. George and I are just playing in his bedroom. It's a nice, relaxing morning, so I thought I'd hop on here and update you and say hi. So the last time you saw me, we had ordered our countertops and they were about to go in in a few days or a week or something. So that's been done. And the last week we've been just like going to different places to get different quotes on our stairs, floors, um, which we now have booked, our stairs and floors, no. and um, cabinet painting. We're still getting quotes and contemplating backsplash. It's never ending. And we've done a few other things, which I will show you everything when I go downstairs. So yeah, that's been pretty busy. Also, ton of things going on in the world this week. Uh, 2020 is just so interesting and a lot of changes in 2020. Um, a lot of stuff we're going to look back on and just be like, wow, I can't believe all this stuff happened in one year. And not just one year, the first six months of the year. Is it six months? Yeah. Oh, George says, yeah. George, what are you doing? Oh, you're fixing your crib? I don't think so. I think so. You've got a wrench. And it looks like you're fixing your bed. It looks like Jameson. It looks like Jameson? It looks like Jameson's uh, Georgie's kind of bed. It looks like, yeah, you and Jameson both had a similar bed, but now Jameson's in a big boy bed. Do you want to have a big boy bed too soon? Yeah. That's a green screwdriver. It's a tall screwdriver. That's not a screwdriver. That's a... That's a different kind of tool. Do you remember the name? It's a... A r r r <laughs> what? That's a wrench. A wrench. Do you live in Canada? Yeah. Can you come to beside mom so we can both be in the picture? So we live in Canada? Yeah. Yeah? What else? Um, we go all around. Are you, are you talking about the map of Canada? We go all around of the earth. Yeah, you can go all around. Uh, do you want to be an astronaut and ride in a rocket ship around the Earth? We walk, we walk all around the Earth. We walk all, all around the world. You want to walk all around the world? Yeah. But you'll be so tired. It's a lot of exercise. I'll go all around the world. I'll go. Do you want to go all around the world in a car, in a boat, in an airplane, in a rocket ship, or with your legs? My legs. You want to walk? Yeah. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Come here. Tell the people where you live. I know. <gasps> your number. Yeah, that's counting down. That's how long we've been filming for. Yeah. So tell the people, where do you live? Where do you live? I live in Canada. Yes, you do. Where else? Do you know the province? So that's the country. Do you know the province? Yeah. On Ontario. Yeah. Can you say it? Terio. Yeah, he just says Terio. Ontario. Ontario. <laughs> Get your hands out of your mouth. Get your hands out of your mouth. Get your hands out of your mouth. Get your hands out. Okay, you say, I live in Ontario, Canada. What? 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 You're sleeping? Okay, good night. Good night. Oh. There you are. Oh, good morning. Oh, hello.
Okay guys, here's an update of the kitchen so far. We have in new quartz countertops. You saw the quartz sample from my last video. As you get closer, you can tell the gray veining. I love it so much. And a new sink and faucet. It's a 32 inch undermount sink. And it is so huge and so much more functional than my last sink that like that came with the house. <laughs> the last sink was so shallow and it was an overmount sink. So um, the connection here was just all grimy and gross. This is so much sleeker and cleaner. Here's some footage of our original sink and faucet. And I wanted to show you also how small the island was. I love it so much. And we extended the island. So we came out several inches on this end, several inches on this end, and a few inches over the bar. And just this subtle change has made the kitchen, it's hard to translate on camera, but in person it's made the kitchen look so much bigger and just having so much more counter space to work on is amazing. So that's what we've got going on so far. The next thing we have booked um, July 6th is the stairs. We are painting them white and staining the railing and steps a light gray, just like the floor that they're putting in, the same company. And um, then the following thing we have to book is painting our cabinets white. So I know I said I liked this backsplash, but even though I like it, because we're gonna have white countertops, white backsplash, white cupboards. We're gonna go with a more delicate, like a smaller herringbone or small diamond pattern, still white, but bringing in some more texture with that because our cabinets are pretty simple. Um, so we just want a little bit more interesting without bringing in color, because I still love the white kitchen. and. I want the countertops to be like the focal point with color, like it's a little bit more creamy and then the gray veining. So I want the backsplash and cabinets to be pure white. And yeah, I can't wait until this oak and this oak are like white and gray and bright just to tie in with the freshness of our family room and just everything everything just flowing and looking bigger and wider. We're going to be changing out these warm white pot lights for a like neutral cooler white so that the countertops don't look so yellow when they're on. And I have some sheer curtains with a nice curtain rod coming in for um, that window there so that it's still like full on light with just a little bit of privacy. Basically these shears are going to be going like not this just these shears are going to be going over here you ready for some breakfast george what do you want to eat, I can eat bagels. a bagel with some cream cheese so we changed these three light fixtures on our main floor we didn't want anything too intricate to compete with the crystal chandelier over our table so we went with just a simple clear glass bowl and the Edison, uh, vintage Edison light bulbs. They're definitely an upgrade from the boob lights that the builder put in. We also changed the light fixtures in our bedroom. And now that I'm looking at this footage, I think I'm going to raise the curtain rod closer to the ceiling to make our ceilings look taller. But yeah, we opted for some crystal lights in the bedroom and I just feel like it makes it more cozy and romantic and elegant. I absolutely love them and you don't even see how much they sparkle on camera. Like it doesn't, this footage doesn't do them justice. They're so beautiful in person and I got them off Amazon for a really good price. Here's my celery, guys. I um, haven't showed it to you in a long time, but uh, I use it to cook. So I've cut a ton of leaves that were like draped over this pot. And yeah, whenever I do that, it makes room for more and more leaves. 
but it's so so pretty um the stalks aren't growing super fast let me try to get in there and show you so the can you see that okay so the stalks are growing but i think we're mostly gonna just have leaves here to cook with and they're so fresh and fragrant and delicious I put them in my salads and cook with them in soups and stuff like that. So yeah, I've been, um, I've made at least like three, four meals with these leaves and they just keep growing. And I forgot to mention, we put the wicker couch out front here. Um, there's just way more room on the front porch here. The back porch was a little bit too tight once we got the barbecue for both the table and couch and barbecue and umbrella um so now the table's in the back with the two black plastic chairs just way more room and we sit out here and i got a skinny little table here to put our drinks um which should be coming soon from amazon i'm like literally living on Amazon. Speaking of Amazon, my order just came in. So I have my sheer curtains and my curtain rods. And I thought that these shattered glass looking ends were just so pretty. I didn't want to go full on crystal because I have the crystal here, but I thought that it would complement it nice having the glass that just looks a little bit more shimmery because of the shattered look. And yeah, like we have plain ones here. Well, it's not quite plain. It's like a, a rope looking. What are you saying? What are you saying? So they're like, it's got a faux rope looking thing in metal for this one. And I just thought that glass would kind of tie in to the glass lights there, but also the crystal look here. I don't know. So I just think that they're so, so pretty. And hopefully Jim will hang these up for me today or tomorrow. We'll see. He has lots to do today. I think he has some work to do outside and he might want to start lifting the backsplash today. So actually, I probably won't bug him to do the curtains today. So you'll probably see them in my next update video. Um, so I'll just end this now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Aw, Oliver loves you. He licks me. He licked you? Yeah. Yeah, he loves you. Say bye guys. Bye guys. Bye guys.